Hello, mister. Hello, hello, Salvador. Hi. Uh, Good. Yeah. Good evening. How are you? How are you? I'm fine. Good. Good, good. Okay. All right. That's good. That's good. That's okay. Welcome to the English class. Well, and uh, let me tell you that it, here it's like, well, it's about it's about to rain because it was very relaxed, but now it's raining a little bit, but it's raining. So it's, the weather is surprising, you know, surprising because it changes. Okay, so guys, it's good to have you back here and ready to start classes, to practice, to study English. And that is like a good, a good chance, you know, to learn every day. So how was your day, by the way? ¿Cómo ha estado su día? Cuenten. ¿Cómo ha estado su jornada? Your activities in your workplace. Good night, everyone. Good night, good night. Good Teacher. night, Mr. Kandrai. Good night. Good evening. How are you? I am fine. Everything's okay. Nice. That's awesome. That's awesome. I see you very relaxed. I see you very relaxed today. Every time. That's good. That's good. I'm glad for you because it's good to be happy, to be, you know, relaxed after a lot of things we do. But just like feel encouraged, you know, to, you know, to learn and to do different things. And uh, when I connected, I connected early and I was like, hey, what happened with the students? Because when I connect, everybody's here, right? I mean, like three, four, five. And I was like, solo yo estoy. Me habré equivocado de enlace, decía yo. Pero no, de ahí aparecía José y Salvador. Y yo oh my God, my God. This is the, this is the link. Pero en serio, yo bien preocupado porque sí eh, me afecta, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? No estar en el, en el enlace que tiene que ser. Así que ustedes me salvaron la vida. Yo creo, no sé, creo que será por, I think, uh, for the weather. Uh, uh, maybe, yes. For, for this song, uh, it started to, I'm start to, to rain. Yes. That's right. In the capital, yes, it's it's raining. It's it's it's, it's raining here. It, here it was okay. Exactly at eight o'clock, it started to rain. It started to rain, right? Cobal, la lluvia se puso de acuerdo con el horario de la clase de hoy y comenzó a llover. Miren, entonces, yeah, maybe that could be because sometimes students they chat. Some students chat y me dicen, teacher, mire que se me ha ido la luz. O de repente el internet no me funciona. Entonces yo así como que, oh my god, so that's a problem. A veces no contesto de inmediato porque no tengo el celular conmigo, es decir, no lo tengo aquí a la mano. Entonces de repente me escriben y entonces yo no sé, bueno, a veces pueda que digan que, eh, no sé el teacher qué pasó, no me contestó, pero es que a veces, honestly, I don't have my phone with, with me, so I just, I'm, I'm like disconnected, I'm just focused about the class, right? Así que si no les contesto por alguna razón, es porque no tengo el teléfono conmigo, ok? Así que that is the reason. But uh, thank you everybody uh, for being here in the class. You know, a new date of life, a new date blessed by God. Un día más. Eh, tenemos acá de estar nuevamente ya listos para nuestras clases. Y yo creo que es importante que tomemos en cuenta ese, ese, esa oportunidad de poder aprender, de poder estudiar, de poder eh, desarrollar cada una de nuestras capacidades. Creo que es algo que, que tenemos que valorar bastante. Y fíjense que, y no les miento, este programa, este programa que, que tenemos con Insafor, Inglés Corporativo, es un programa muy exitoso. Y se lo digo porque yo tengo, ya tengo muchos años de trabajar, eh, bastantes años, gracias a Dios. Tengo alrededor de 17 años de dar clases. Y entonces déjenme decirles de que el programa que lleva Insafor y, y las horas que reciben ustedes clases, wow, es muy crucial, es muy importante. Dos horas diarias es excelente, o sea, ustedes prácticamente como que estuvieran estudiando una carrera de inglés universitaria, pues por el número de horas que ustedes reciben de clases, entonces, eso es muy bueno, es, es, es increíble, por eso les digo, 
si ustedes siguen perseverando en este proceso, eh, si siguen estudiando, si no se van de los niveles, wow, en un par de meses su nivel de inglés va a ser diferente. Eh, va a ser increíble. It's going to be great because the time and also because the programs is actually, it's good. It's good. The topics, the content, and everything that's why by trying to involve and uh, sounds like kind of hard, but at the end is good. Entonces, eh, yo haciendo un análisis de, de, de este programa, eh, del programa de Isafor, es muy bueno, es muy interesante y nos va a servir a nosotros más adelante. Entonces, eh, bueno, vamos a iniciar ya por respeto a, la que están, a los que estamos ya acá, ya listos, dispuestos ya con, al 100% para nuestras clases de inglés. Good night, teacher. Hello, welcome. Uh, thank Hello. you. Uh, uh, teacher, disculpe, yo voy a estar conectado, pero ando fuera, entonces no voy a poder tener la cámara activa uh, oh. mientras llego a mi casa. Excelente, tenga cuidado ahí en el camino, mister. Sí, por eso. Ok, uh, yeah. Sí. Yeah, don't worry, don't Gracias. worry. Gracias, thank teacher. You. Thank you, thank you, Eric. Ok, so, well, We're going to pass the attendance list, but I just need to reinforce about the content. And I would like to ask you, uh, what did we study in the last class? What do you remember, guys? What content we started in the last class? ¿Qué estudiamos? ¿Qué temas estudiamos? ¿Qué se acuerdan? Yes, I need a volunteer for helping me to remember what topic we started. So no, Have you questions? Ok, ok, permíteme un momentito, just denme un minuto. I'm sorry, it, it, it is raining very hard here in the, it's raining so hard. <laughs> I don't know. Can you, can you hear me um, clearly? No sé si me pueden escuchar bien, claramente, más o menos. Perfect. Perfect. Ah, vaya. Excelente. Perfect. Eso me gusta. Esa es la actitud. Ya ve. Eh, eh, el sonido está a nuestro favor. <laughs> okay. So we were talking about the use of the, 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 the W equations Karen said that we were studying about the WH question. That was the topic. ¿Qué más se recuerdan? What else do you remember about what we did? ¿Qué hicimos específicamente en la clase? Use the simple present information question. Uh -huh. Excelente. El what, el where, el which, el why, el who. Ok. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. What else? What else would you like to add? What else would you like to add? ¿Qué más les gustaría agregar? What else would you like to add? Uh, definition, position, word. Mm. Okay. Okay, the, the, okay, the jobs, positions, and the definition too. Yes, that was right. That was right. I totally agree with that. Okay, let me go with this. Eh, comentarles un poquito acerca de este tema. Eh, estudiamos un poquito acerca de what you said before, eh, the video conference 11. And let's start. We made a brainstorming about and where do you belong to? What department do you belong to? And what do you do? That's the topic. What do you do? So you said what you did in your job. You described the job positions, what activities you did in the process. So that was part of the topic. And also, we just have some questions. Um, in this case, information questions like, what do I do? Where do you work? Uh, when do we go to the meeting? How do they plan the marketing? What time do you have? Do you take breakfast? Hoy vamos a continuar con este tema. We will continue with this topic. But the only one difference is that it's going to be a for third persons in singular. Hoy nos vamos a enfocar en las terceras personas porque lo vimos en un poquito más que todo en plurals and the first and second person. So now it's going to be like a little bit different because we're going to study specifically um, for third persons in singular. It's going to be a piece of cake because you have the main idea about the topic. 
eh, hoy seguimos reforzando. Y estos cursos tienen esa ventaja de que usted refuerza el contenido. Muy bien, y estábamos con las, las famous W equations y que nos preguntábamos, teacher, ¿y por qué estaba how ahí, verdad? How, eh, y how tiene una función importante y lo, inclu y lo incluyen dentro de las W equations. It doesn't start with W, but it is, it's important part because it is used to ask questions. No comienza con W, pero lo usamos exclusivamente para referirnos, para referirnos a una pregunta. Entonces, por eso lo usábamos, right? So we just define each of them, why, where, which, and also some statements that we had, right? That was like the main important topic, you know, about the class, which is like, Reinforce the content. Estudiamos un poquito eso eh, porque es una estructura que se ocupa bastante en el inglés. A lot, a lot. It's a very important topic that we can socialize. Well, and we're going to pass the first attendance list. So I just need to ask right now. So to your names. And don't forget to say present. It's understandable because it's raining in some places here in the country. And um, those days, um, it hasn't rained, but maybe it's the time where winter is coming. Winter, winter is coming. Just one moment. Okay. I'm looking for my name in the attendance list. This is control de asistencias, right? So for this, it's, it's, it's take like a short time. Uh, Let me see. Okay, okay, we go with this, right? Okay, uh, we're going to start with the next part. Okay, I will, I will be calling your names. So you say present. Uh, Adela Trinidad Gonzalez. Present. Thank you. Uh, Carlos Eduardo Melgar. Present. Eric Guillermo Herrera. Present. Eh, Ever de Jesús Candray. Present. Eh, Gilmar Cruz Méndez. Present. Eh, Ina Crisia Santos. Present. José Ángel Guardado. Present, teacher. Thank you. José David Rivera. José David Rivera. Nada. Eh, Karen Lisset Mengíbar. Present. Thank you. Uh, Karina Yamilet Espinosa. Present. Eh, Katherine Abigail Cuellar. Katherine Abigail. Katherine Abigail Cuellar. No está. Eh, Marlene Yamilet Herrera. No está Marlene. Eh, Misael Rivera Aquino. Present. Teacher. Thank you. Eh, Nancy Lisset Rodríguez. Present. Um, Oscar Manuel Sánchez. Oscar Manuel Sánchez. No yet. Eh, Salvador Alfonso Cortés. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Saúl Adolfo Beltrán. Saúl Adolfo Beltrán. Victoria María Vázquez. Present. Jancy Guadalupe Erazo. Jancy Guadalupe Erazo. No yet. Y eh, Yancy Magdalena Hernández. Yancy Magdalena Hernández. No está. Ok. Ok, vamos a ver. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. 
appreciate it. I appreciate it. All right, well, let's go with this. Okay, let me present the new topic for this class. And we're going to study the topic for this class today. And also, well, this is here. So let me know when you can see it. Me dicen si ya lo pueden ver. Teacher, buenas noches. Ya pasó lista. Yes. No eh, Jancy, right? Jancy. Erazo. Erazo, Erazo. Just one moment. Okay, yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you're, you're in. All right, cool. You're in now. All right, so we're going to study today the topic number 12. This topic, is, I will present the name about this topic here. Look at this, okay. The topic is this, video conference 12, how to use the simple present information questions. As we know, this is the topic for this video conference. We continue talking about the W equations, but in this case, we're going to be focusing about the third person. So it's gonna be the main idea about it. And we have the general objective to talk about people's work and their functions in the workplace. That is the topic. To talk about people's work and their functions in their workplace. That is like the general objective. And what are we going to be capable to do? Describe the different departments in your workplace and what they do. We have the warm up activity. Okay, look at this. Ask some classmates about the duties they have to perform at the workplace. And we're going to share this information. So, what we have to do is we're going to reinforce the content or the, the information that we have. In this case, what we have to do is this one we are going to ask classmates about the duties. ¿Qué significa duties? Significa deberes, compromisos, actividades que usted tiene pendientes, right? That's what we call duties. They have to perform at the workplace. O sea, ¿qué otras actividades? And we continue, you know, talking about these activities, eh, about the duties, responsibilities that you can socialize. ¿Cuáles son los deberes o actividades que usted tiene que hacer en su lugar de trabajo y va a compartirlos? Así que vamos a... Eh, Tomar unos minutitos, like a couple of minutes. And then we're going to join through the, the breakup rooms and you will share with your partner the duties, the activities you do. As you said, you share some things you do in your job, right? We will continue discussing about that and I want you to take notes. Así que le voy a dar unos minutitos para que escriban eh, acerca de sus duties, sus deberes, los compromisos que tiene que hacer en su trabajo and then after that, we're going to socialize this information in, in, in groups, okay? So we can start right now, guys. We, we actually can start. Okay. Um, is, is Sir, that, yes? Una consulta, fíjese que se me fue el audio. Entonces no sé, no sé qué actividad acaba de dejar. Uh, exactamente la que estamos viendo acá, the warm-up activity. It says that ask uh, some classmates about their duties. Es decir, va a escribir usted las actividades, los deberes, los compromisos que usted tiene en su lugar de trabajo. Y luego okay. nos vamos a reunir en los breakout rooms and we are going to socialize the information. As, as we know, in some classes we have uh, the interaction with some partners and uh, we are going to talk with some other partners. Cada vez vamos a ir rotando eh, estudiantes para, para poder interactuar entre todos. We can talk about that. Hello, teacher. Hello? Who's Hello, speaking? teacher. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Eh, un poco tarde en conectarme por la lluvia. Okay, let me pass your attendance list. Eh, Beltran, right? Beltran, sí, Saúl Beltran. 
Saúl, one second. Gracias. Okay, I, 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 yes. Oh, you're on the list now, you're in the list. Okay, don't worry. Okay, that's okay. Well, and what we had to do, Saúl, is that we had to ask some classmates about the duties you do, the duties you perform and the workplace. Va a escribir aquellas, eh, aquellos deberes, aquellos compromisos, actividades que, que tiene que hacer en su trabajo. And then you will share with your partners this information. Okay, teacher. All right. Okay, don't forget to ask questions if you have questions about, um, about vocabulary. Remember that you have the freedom to ask. Uh, don't, don't be afraid to ask questions because I'm here to help you. Um, because it's important because sometimes I, I'm asking something and it's like, teacher, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to write this word. So you got the freedom to ask questions. No tenga pena, pregunte. Eh, Pregunte todo lo que me sea necesario, ¿verdad? No, 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 yo sé que a algunos les da pena de repente, no, no le voy a preguntar al teacher, no vaya a ser, ¿verdad? Entonces, no, don't worry, just ask questions. We're here to learn. Uh, if you have a doubt, so it's important. You can develop. Oh, teacher, how do you pronounce this word? Focus about pronunciation, es importante. Así que, eh, pues, échale ganas. Y we are learning. We're learning here in the process. Hi, Karina. Teacher, una consulta. ¿Cómo se dice ubicación? Location. Eh, quiero, ver, quiero ver. Look at this. Look at the location. Like this. Can you see it? ¿Lo ve? Karina. Hola. Eh, location. Aquí está. Ah. It's here. Ah, okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher. Hi. ¿Cómo se dice cobro? Sé que se dice char charge. 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 Yes. Al final. Eh, just charge. Eh, that is charge. Yes. Thank you. All right, you're welcome.
Okay, um, how are we going? No yet? No yet? Ready? No yet. No yet. All right, let's wait then. Okay, is anybody about to finish? Teacher, no consulta. Albaranes. ¿Cómo se dice? Excuse me? What word is that? Albaranes. Albaranes. I don't know what is that in Spanish. What is albaranes? Es en español albaranes. I don't know what is that. I mean, I don't know in Spanish what is that word. <laughs> oh my God! But but what is that? I mean, can you explain me? Okay. Eh, producto en producto en liquidación. Ah, alba albaranes se le dice. Ajá. Uh -huh. Wow. Eh, en ese caso, sí, tiene, puede, por ejemplo, para decir producto en liquidaciones, bueno, well, usted puede decir como products in liquidation, por ejemplo, lo llaman así. Y liquidación es también en inglés como eh, settlement. O clearing too. O sales. Vamos a ponerle acá, acá, eh, sale products. Sale product. Producto en liquidación. Sale product. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow, esa palabra no la había escuchado que en español. Wow, estoy aprendiendo bastante hoy, sí. Teacher. Yes. Good night, teacher. Hello. Uh, who's speaking? Oscar Sánchez. Oscar, Oscar. Okay, hi, Oscar. Eh, no tenía Inter teacher. No, no me pegaba por la lluvia, pero ya, ya, ya me pegó. Okay, I place you in the attendant list, okay? Now, yeah. in this moment. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Teacher, so, one question. Yes, go ahead. Eh, how do you say proveedor? Provider. Se escribe. Provider. Yes, se escribe provider. Así, como Pro, acá. Como se escucha, provider. Así, provider. Provider. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. That was saying in Spanish, proveedor. It's a provider. Catter. También lo, también lo conocen como catter. Like this. It's another synonym to say 
eh, proveedor. Es un caterer. Ok. Almost ready? ¿Estamos listos ya? ¿We're ready? Yes or not? Ready, teacher. Ready, perfect. Ok. Va a ser la pregunta. La pregunta will be What are your duties? What are what are your duties at the workplace? That will be the questions. You know, what are your duties at the workplace? ¿Cuáles son tus, tus deberes en el lugar de trabajo? Or in your job or in your workplace. So, okay, what are your duties at your workplace? That will be the question. So, you're going to meet with your partners and you will talk about what are your duties and you will socialize with your partners about what activities you do. Like, you know, I control people, I monitor, I work on inventories, I facilitate products to the customers, I just check the cost the products in the best way, I look for the strategies for encouraging people or customers to get the product, consume the product, I'm in charge of operating system, I'm, I'm, I'm in, in charge of operating and monitoring the products and also different things. So say, Comienza a describir qué hace. I attend people in, at the workplace. I socialize with people. I create some business with them. So we just talk about that. Entonces, vamos a los breakup rooms. We're going to the breakup rooms. We're going to make small groups. And we are at 17 today. That's okay. Just allow me one moment. Okay, we're going to start with the breakup rooms, but before that we go on, I would like to ask you if you have any question or doubt. ¿Tiene alguna pregunta o duda antes que vayamos ya a los grupos? Before you go on to the groups? No? No, no. No today. Okay. All right, perfect. Thanks. Let's go. Eh, Karina. Karina, Karina. Eh, Karina, are you there? Karina, hello. Perfecto. I add the best price, que sería eh, comprar el mejor precio. Ok. No, the market trend, como, como conocer las tendencias del mercado, estar innovado, estar en el eh, Market innovation, eh, también eh, referente a los productos, ¿verdad? Tenemos que estar pendiente cuál es la innovación de los productos. Y check store inventory. Estar pendientes también de, de los inventarios de tiendas. Ok. ¿Puedes hacer algo? ¿Puedes hacer algo? 
prepare the class, uh, prepare the material, attend the students, explain the class, be punctual, great assignment, uh, verify that the student work, share parents, be aware of the platform, bueno, entre otras cosas, preparar clases, preparar material, atender a los estudiantes, explicar las clases, ser puntual, solicitar tareas, verificar que los estudiantes están trabajando, atender a los padres de familia por cualquier duda y este, también estar pendiente de la plataforma, porque ahorita como estamos semipresencial, entonces igual, ¿verdad? Que manden todo y así. Gilmar tiene apagado el micrófono. Ok, muy bien. Ok, my duties as were reviews and convenience of the weekends. He'll call it. Yeah. At the end, the whip cleaning it of the system. Um, repair computer. Son un poco de mis tareas, solo que a cada rato dando. Son que estar pendientes y tomar café. De importa. Ok. <ríe> Qué bien. Okay. Eh, Yo el café solo en la mañana. Teacher, ¿cómo? ¿Where do you say inconvenientes? Inconvenient. In English is inconvenient. Okay. Uh, yes, that is like a difficulty. You can say difficulty or inconvenience. Uh, what is the difference uh, entre duties and obligation? I'm sorry, I didn't listen clearly. What is the word? Uh, but what is the uh, difference entre duties? Du duties and uh, I mean, it's uh, synonyms because if you say, for example, duties is like deberes, es decir, cosas que usted debe hacer, it's like a commitment, mm. right? Y el otro es, eh, ¿qué otra palabra me dijo? Perdón. Obligaciones. Obligation es algo que, que, o sea, que tiene que hacer, es decir, el término suena un poquito más fuerte, o sea, es mi obligación, en cambio, el anterior es un deber, algo que yo debo hacer. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, so, but that could be obligation sería un poquito más fuerte porque o lo hago o no lo hago, o sea, debo hacerlo porque es una obligación, right? Ah, claro, porque sí, pero en el caso a mí me, me, me dicen cuáles son los problemas que han surgido el fin de semana, pero yo no los espero, entonces actúo como deber ir a preguntar. Ah, ok, yes, pero hay otras, otros trabajos donde, o sea, no puede dejarlo, tiene que resolver, you need to solve the problem. Sí, that is bueno. an obligation, so it's an obligation. Yes. Yeah. Así estoy ahorita. Creo que no me voy a dormir ahora. Oh, my God. <laughs> ánimo, ánimo. <laughs> Inconveniente se escribe así, inconvenient. Se los escribo acá en el chat. Inconvenient. Okay. Yes, look at this. Y, y, ¿Y podría decir al final de la semana o tendría que decir exactamente el Friday? Viernes. Pero, ¿a qué se refiere? Porque, al, digamos, todos los viernes yo me he puesto como una rutina a hacer algo, ¿verdad? Para que no se creen más inconvenientes el fin de semana. Entonces, sería como, uh, I, I try to solve the situations on, on Friday. Uh, I try to solve the situations. On Friday. Like this. On Friday. Instead of instead of the weekend. Like this. So that will be on, on Friday. It is much better than weekend. 
Sí, lo que sucede es, bueno, para, para ser exacto, lo que hago es este, que los días viernes eh, me encargo de, de cierto sistema, de borrar cosas, eh, de, de darle mantenimiento a ciertas cosas. Like, so you're in charge of monitoring the systems. Mm -hmm. Okay, like this. Look at this. Give maintenance like this. All right. Yes, yes the word. But, oh yeah, okay, that's okay, that's okay. Yeah. Well, well, I'm going to visit another group and then we're going to go back to the main session again. So that was a great practice and we're gonna go back to the main session. Just one moment. Cremba. Tenemos que no nos cree cuando mandamos, estamos en la tienda y quieren exactamente que mandemos ubicación. Eh, visitar varias tiendas. Eh, más que todo, yo tengo cinco tiendas. Tengo que visitarlas casi el mismo día. Eh, tengo que hacer los pedidos. Si tengo faltantes, tengo que hacerlos. Eh, dejar este, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, los espacios llenos de productos. Y luego hacer los albaranes, que eso le estaba diciendo ayer eh, al profe, que vaya, los albaranes son cuando el producto va en liquidación, que ya va próximo a vencer, se hacen los albaranes al 2 por 1 con descuento. Eso es lo que me toca hacer a mí. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry, guys. Did, did, you, did you finish to, to socialize? Uh, you finish uh, to share the information? Yes. Oh, you finish. Yes. Ok, yes. perfect. Yes. I think that we're going we're going back to uh, to the main section because most of the, the groups I think finished. Okay, thank you guys. Okay, uh, thank you everybody for, you know, the practice that was like fun, that was great um, to listen to you learning a little bit about what you do in the activities, what kind of works you do, do you do, and also the practice, so that is, that is fantastic. Well, let's go to the next part, vamos con la siguiente parte, so we're going to work with the next part, and also we have a conversation that we're going to socialize today, look at this, look at this one. Look at this. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, and then practice with a partner. So we're going to have a short talk. We're going to have a conversation today in the class. And also, I want you to listen carefully uh, the pronunciations about the vocabulary and expressions. And then we're going to practice. Just one moment. Okay, look at this. So we have a conversation between Kevin and Albert. Vamos a ver. Let's start now. Quiero que se enfoquen en la pronunciación y luego vamos a hacer preguntas sobre vocabulario. Kevin, what do you have to do on Thursday? I'll just check the production of the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure what time does he finish to work 
on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Okay, that was the conversation. Let's practice again. Listen carefully, and then we're going to practice. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What it is about? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have a free time? Okay, now I want you to help me to practice this information. Vamos a ir practicando cada línea. Así que eh, yo lo señalo, lo repito, y usted lo practica, right? So that's what we had to do. Just focus always with the microphone off and just listen to practice and produce the language. Uh, something important about learning English is that we can uh, produce the language. Una cosa importante es producir el idioma. Es eh, cuando usted pronuncia esa palabra, just check the production, está produciendo el idioma. Y cuando usted lo produce, you gain confidence and you practice the pronunciation. Let's go. Vamos con la primera. I repeat and then you repeat it. What do you have to do on Thursday? Repeat. Line number two. I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Repito otra vez. I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Repeat. Okay, let's go. Let's go with the next one. Because, because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Okay, repeat. Okay, next phrase is short. Sure, sure, se pronuncia sure. What is it about? What is it? Cuando usted lo pronuncia rápido es, what is it? What is it about? What is it about? Si lo hace despacio es, sure. What is it about? What is it about? Sure, what is it about? Usted lo puede pronunciar de esta manera, sure. What is it about? Practice. Okay, siguiente. What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? Mm -hmm. 
Max, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. I repeat, I'm not so sure. That's the pronunciation. I'm not so sure. Let's go with the last line. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? I repeat, what time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Practice. All right, so we can check the conversation again. It will say, uh, listen carefully. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What does Mr. Rose have to do that day? I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Okay, this is like the, the, the idea about the conversation and then we're going to work in pairs and we're going to practice these conversations. So just for this, for this time, for this moment, I need, I need a volunteer, uh, two volunteers for helping me to read this uh, conversation. One second. Lo pueden ver, me dicen si lo pueden visualizar? Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. Yeah. All right. Okay, so who wants to do it? Who wants to help me? Sorry. Me, teacher. Uh, say your name. Oscar Sanchez. Oscar, Oscar, you will be Kevin. Who else? Me, teacher. Carlos. Your name? Carlos. Okay, Carlos, you will be Arbert, and Oscar will be Kevin. So everybody, just pay attention and practice the conversation right now. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me can you do me a favor? Sure. What is about? What does what does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Okay, finish the chair. Excellent, that was great. I mean, that was very clear conversation. I really like it because it sounds like the pronunciation was clear, specific, fluent. That was fantastic, that was good, that was good. Okay, two other volunteers, those voluntarios más. So you say your name. Mm -hmm. Name? Me, Trini. Me, Trini. Okay, Trini, Trini and, the, and the boy, who's the next? Gilmar. Okay, Trini, you will be Kevin, and Gilmar, you will be Albert. You can start now. Okay. What do you, what do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for new product and write a report about why. About because it. I, because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What is it about? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? I am not so sure. What time does he finish the war on Thursday? 
or when does he have free time? Thank you so much. That was great. That was definitely great. Okay, to the last last pair. The last pair. Who wants to do it? Say your name, please, and then you go with it. Okay, uh, two, bo two more volunteers. Me, teacher, Karen. Okay. okay, Karen, thank you. Karen, you will be Kevin. And I need another volunteer. Someone else would like to? Yes? Yes. Your name? Misael. Oh, Misael. Okay, Misael, you will be Albert. So, uh, Karen, you can start and then Misael. Okay. What do you do? What do you have to do on Thursday? Hi, who check she production for she nay product and write a report about hit win. Why? Why? Okay, practice. Stop, stop. Why? Okay, uh, can you repeat? Puede repetirlo? I just check. Hi, who check? I just, I just check. I host. Just, just. I host check. Eh, eh, escuche, escuche mi voz. I just, con, como con una Y. I just. I just. Check. Check. The production. The production. For the new. For, <clears throat> for the new product. And write a report about, about it. About it. About it. Uh -huh. it. Why? <laughs> Why? Okay, continue. Thank you. Because because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What? Is it about? What does Mr. Reese have to I, do that day? I'm not so, so sure. I'm, I'm not. Dia conmigo, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> uh huh. Yes. Not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Okay, that was cool. That was cool. Thank you. That was that was great. That was like a uh, part of the conversation that was very interesting. We just we just got the, the point. That's that's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're coming back. Okay, so we're going to practice the conversation together. We're going to have a role play. So you can be, one moment. You can be Kevin and your partner will be Albert. And then you switch. You will be Albert and your partner will be Kevin. You will switch. But before that, we go to the breakup rooms. I want to make sure that you have a clear pronunciations about the vocabulary. So I would like to ask. Alguien tiene una pregunta sobre alguna palabra que tiene duda cómo se pronuncia y la podemos practicar. Before you go on to the breakup rooms. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Yo tengo una pregunta. Uh, on the island, a ver, Kevin. Este, are you sumi? No sé cómo se dice esa palabra. Sumeo. I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, what is that? Because what, what is that word? Don't understand? Because I need someone to help me. So me, so me, so me. Esta, esta? No, donde dice Kevin. Donde habla de su segunda vez Kevin. Ah, because so I, because I need someone. I'm I need someone. Someone to help me uh, because, because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? In this case, I vemos. 
Can you do me a favor? Yes, someone. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? No questions? Okay, so we're going to work in the breakout rooms and we're gonna have a role play to socialize this information here. So we're gonna make pairs, one second. Okay, we're going to make a groups, recreate them. Okay, let's go to the breakout rooms. We practice and then we come back, five minutes. Teacher. Yes. Hello. Uh, como, como para ver la conversación, como, como se comparte la pantalla. Eh, vaya, hay una parte donde dice compartir pantalla, share a screen. No sé si la ve, creo que la mía no la ve. Esta que tengo acá en verde, la va a ver en color verdecito. Sí, sí. sí. Entonces le va a dar clic y ahí le va a abrir las ventanas que tenga usted abierto. Si la presentación la tiene en la ventana ahí, entonces solo le da clic donde está la, donde está la, la imagen de la, de la presentación y le da compartir o share. Le aparece como share, share. Y ya automáticamente va a compartir esa pantalla. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. What does Mr. Ruiz have to you do that day? I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Okay, ahora yo Kevin is that. Correcto, a, a, a la inversa. Mm -hmm. a What do you... What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is about? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Okay. Bye. Ahora ya, ya más o menos lo hemos masticado. ¿verdad? Lo volvemos <laughs> a hacer y si quieren le metemos sí. un poquito más de velocidad. ¿verdad? Okay. Bye. Eh, Kevin. What do you what do you have to do on Thursday? Repeat. What do you do? Perdón, what do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it why. Okay. Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is about? What does Mr. Reese have to you that day? I'm not so sure. What time does the, he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? 
Ok, ahora yo... Pero vamos, ¿verdad? Ya poquito a poquito. Ya, yeah. <risa> ahora ya <yo> qué. <risa> el teacher nos tiene que poner 100, no 10, 100, oh, para que nos alcance <risa> para el otro curso. <risa> What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Solo que ahí en report creo que es report. 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 Report, okay. Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is about? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursdays? Or when does he have free time? Okay. Una última vez. Ahora comienzo yo, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move softbox. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is about? What does Mr. Ruiz? Does they have free time? Ok, ahora Ajá, soy, soy Kevin. What do you have to do, to do on Thursdays? Hola. ¿Me escuchó? Nancy, hola Nancy, Nancy, uh. hola, hola. Sí, ahora Kevin y yo Alberto. Sí, pero vaya. What do you have to do on Thursday? Uh, how check the product for the new product the right uh proper I'll be it's B. Oh, we. We. Creo, pues. <laughs> Because I need some one to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure, what? It is a put about. What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? I'm not sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Do it, no está. Do that. Ah, no sé. <risa> no sé. Este, ahora yo soy Kevin, no sé, Albert. Ajá. Ok. What do you do you? What do you? How? Today and Thursday. I will check the production for the new product and write a report about we. The cause in the next uh, 
somewhat uh, help me move it. the boxy. Can you do me favor? Sure. What is about? What do Mr. Hui how to do what day? I'm not so sure. Teacher. Hi. Tengo una consulta. Eh, se escribe does y se pronuncia do o da. das. 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 Yes. Ok, gracias, teacher. All right, you're welcome. Hoy vamos a ver un poquito ese, ese tema. Para, vamos a reforzar un poquito ese tema. Ok, guys, we're going we're gonna to pass the attendance list right now. Eh, so you listen to your name, you say present. This is the second call uh, for the class and also some, you know, one second. Just one moment. So congratulations to, to you guys because you have practiced the conversations. I was like listening to some of you and sounds very natural, very clear, understandable, good pronunciation. That was very fascinating because you, you are like producing the language by reading and also focusing about the, the pronunciation. That's what I love, the accent too. Okay, Adela Trinidad Gonzalez. Present. Carlos Eduardo Melgar. Present. Eh, Eric Guillermo Herrera. Present. Ever de Jesús Canray. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Gilmar Cruz Mendez. Present. Ina Crisia Santos. Present. Jose Angel Guardado. Present, teacher. Jose David Rivera. Jose David Rivera is not. Uh, Karen Lisette Mejibar. Karen. Present. Okay. Present, present. All right. Eh, Karina Yamilet Espinosa. Present. Eh, Katherine Abigail Cuellar. Katherine, no. Marlene Yamilet. Eh, Misael Rivera Aquino. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Nancy Lisette Rodriguez. Present. Oscar Manuel Sánchez. Present. Salvador Alfonso Cortés. Present. Saúl Adolfo Beltrán. Present. Eh, Victoria María Vázquez. Present. Eh, Yancy Guadalupe Erazo. 
present. Y Jancy Magdalena Hernandez? She's not. And she's absent. All right, thank you. Well, we're doing great, guys. We're doing pretty awesome with the information, right? Okay, after reading the conversations, uh, maybe, I don't know if you have any question or doubt about the vocabulary. Do you have any question about what's the meaning of the words? Maybe you may ask. ¿Alguna duda o sobre alguna palabra o alguna expresión? No. It's clear. Teacher. Yes. Uh, Kevin, on the hablas, la segunda vez, Kevin, uh -huh. because. Uh -huh. Because. Uh, because. 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 Yes, because. Yes. That's correct. Teacher. Yes. Uh, a pronunci a pronunciar un question en, en el segundo párrafo de Kevin. Casi que igual que la, la compañera. I need someone o, o cómo es la pronunciación? Someone. I need someone. Some y one. Como usted dice uno, dice one. Someone. Someone. To, someone to help me move some boxes. Yes. Yes, yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's go with the next part. We go with the next. Uh, we're going to read the conversation again. Uh, pair work. Look at this one. We're going to answer some questions according to the information in the conversation. So we're going to do, what do does Albert have to do on Thursday? Why do does Kevin need help? Who do or does you think is going to help Kevin? Vamos a ver. Vamos a eh, leer la, la, la conversación otra vez y vamos a encerrar en círculo la palabra correcta y luego vamos a responder las preguntas. Number one, what do or does? In the question number one. Do. Do. Eh, what do Albert have to do on Thursday? Sería yeah. así. No, what does? What is? No, it's what does. That's... Yes, is what does because we are talking about only Albert. Acuérdense que Albert es tercera persona. Tercera en persona. persona. Entonces, excellent. So, what does Albert have to do on Thursday? Y si yo les pregunto, eh, what does Albert have to do on Thursday? De okay. Eh, ya vamos a responder esto. Número dos. Why do or does Kevin need help? Does. What? Why does Kevin need help? Why does? Uh -huh. Why does Kevin need help? Of course. Number three. Who do, do. do or does? Do. Who do? Yes. Uh, who do you think it's going to help Kevin? And the number four, what do or does? Does. Does. Yes. Does. Remember that is the third person in, in, in singular. Acuérdense que los sujetos van en tercera persona. Entonces, en la primera, hablamos de Albert, third person. In the second one, we talk about Kevin, third person. In the number three, we talk about you. So it's the first person, you do. And the number four, what does? Because we're talking about Mr. Ruiz. Okay, Mr. So Ruiz. Ruiz. Yes. Okay, lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a leer nuevamente the conversation. We're going to read the conversation again. Y vamos a responder las preguntas que, que estamos eh, viendo acá. Por ejemplo, what does Albert have to do on Thursday? Okay, check and give me an answer about it. Check the production. Or he have checked the productions. Okay, uh, is correct? Uh, 
and write a report about it. Check the production. And write a report about it. That's correct. Okay. Okay, so we're going to highlight it here. Just look at this. Check the check. What? Oh my God. Check the production and write, the, write a report about it. Me dicen que esta es la respuesta. Teacher, check the yes. production for new products and write a report about it. Oh, check the production or check. Can you repeat check it? Check the production for a new uh, products and write a report about it. For a new product. Mm -hmm. For the new product. Okay, okay. Look at this. For and uh, re write a report about it. Okay. Ahí está. Miren, excellent. About it. The green one. Okay, uh, we just complete this. Number two. Uh, why does Kevin need help according to the information given? Move some boxes. Move some boxes. Help. Move some boxes. Move some boxes. Okay, let me write it here. Move he some boxes. Like this. Look at this. He need. Uh huh. He need move some boxes. Okay. He need to move some boxes. He needs to move some boxes. Okay, one second. I need to move this space. It's much better. Okay, and uh, number three. Who uh, do you think is going to help Kevin? Mr. Ruiz. Mr. Ruiz. Okay. Look at this. Mr. Roy. So he's going to be the person in charge. And the number four, uh, what does uh, Mr. Ruiz do on Thursday? Yes. Move some boxes. <clears throat> Move some boxes too. I'm not so sure. Okay, read again. What does Mr. Ruiz do on Thursday? ¿Qué hace el jueves? Finish to work. Finish to work. Finish to work. Okay, look at this. Uh, what does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? So we're talking about, I'm not so sure. What time does he finish work on Thursday? Or when does he have a free time? So in this case, uh, he needs to, uh, can you do me a favor? What is this about? What does Mr. Ray have to do on that day? I'm not so sure. O sea, no sabe qué es lo que va a hacer, right? He is not sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Uh, or when does he have free time? In este caso, no sabemos si es un free time. Uh, si es, entonces podemos ponerle de que he finished his work. So he finishes his work because it's the third person. Okay, we're gonna highlight this. Okay, so I start. Look, uh, he finishes his work. Okay, so we have completed some ideas about the conversations that we have socialized. Okay, that's good. That's pretty good. Muy bien, vamos con la siguiente parte que es la que les comentaba. El uso de las W equations. So look at this. Information questions. Uh, what does she do on, sa on Saturday and Sunday? So this is like part of the conversation. So uh, I need two volunteers. One, 
who reads the equation and the other students who answer the equation. Then you ask the equation and your partner answer the other one and then the other one. Two volunteers. Who wants to be the first one? Say your name. Ever teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, who, are, who else is going to help Ever? Me, teacher, Oscar Sanchez. Oscar, thank you, Oscar. Okay, Ever, you start and Oscar answer. He answers. You made a, I make a question. Okay. Yes. What does she do on Saturday or Sunday? She visits other companies and, and has meetings. Where does he go on Tuesday afternoon? He goes to the company's headquarters. Which department does our boss supervisor? Our boss supervises the marketing department. What time does Miguel start to work? Miguel start to work at nine o'clock. Excellent, thank you so much, that was great. So you can, you can check the questions. What does she do on Saturday and Sunday, you know? Eh, siempre preguntan con el das. Como es tercera persona, toda la pregunta es tercera persona. Tenemos que preguntar con el das porque estamos hablando de singular, tercera persona. Por eso tenemos que utilizar el das. Eh, what does she do on Saturday and Sunday? Y la respuesta es lo que ya hemos estudiado. Eh, los verbos que van en tercera persona en singular. She visits. Y suena la S. Visits. Porque es tercera persona. She visits other companies. The second question usamos where. Where does he go on, on Tuesday afternoon? ¿Dónde va él el martes en la tarde? Y la respuesta es he goes. Y vemos que lleva ES porque como el verbo termina en una O, nosotros automáticamente le agregamos ES. He goes to the company's headquarters. Next, which department does or does supervise? Vemos que en la pregunta usamos which para comparar dos cosas. O sea, ¿a cuál de esta va? ¿A cuál va? So, which department does or does supervise? Or does, y viene el verbo, supervises. Como termina en una E, solo le agregamos la S. Supervises the marketing department. Thank you. And the last one, que es, which department does or does, eh, well, what time does Miguel start to work? Entonces vemos que el siguiente verbo es starts. Y suena la, tiene que sonar la S. Porque si usted dice, Miguel start, no suena la S. Entonces no lo está, no lo está convirtiendo a tercera persona. Tiene que sonar esa S. Starts, he goes, he visits, he supervises, he travels, he works, he studies, he plays. O sea, para las terceras personas siempre es importante que suene esa S. Eh, eso es algo que se ha visto mucho en estudiantes que de repente estudian pero no pronuncian las palabras eso es para que nos pueda servir ok, we go with the next one tenemos acá eh, another statement, look at this eh, where do you live, what do you do que son como preguntas generales como las que vimos ayer verdad eh, vamos a ver, vamos a la siguiente Ok, vamos a la siguiente, el siguiente ejercicio. And then we're going to work on this and this. Ok. Create conversations with the words provided. Lo que vamos a hacer es que usted va a crear, en este caso, preguntas. Ahí solo nos dice why he have a meeting, and where she process the payment. Vamos a tratar de traducir esa o esas partes y las vamos a formar en preguntas. Así que tenemos unos minutitos para que podamos completar. You have some minutes to uh, or, uh, scramble this statement. Usted va a crear las preguntas. Ahí ya nos da las palabras, solo tenemos que crearlas en tercera persona. Así que para eso tenemos three minutes. Three minutes to complete these questions. We're going to Write these questions. Teacher, allí solo vamos a dar las palabras. Eh, 
Sí, tenemos que formarlas. Tenemos que formar una pregunta. Con el DAS. Ajá. Ok, gracias. Yes. Okay, ready? Are you ready? Ready, teacher. Okay, we're going to do something different. Uh, okay, Ever. Ever, do me a favor. Say the number, uh, Ever, say the number from 1 to 20. Ever, say the number from 1 to 20. From 1 to 20. Yes. Uh, seven. Okay, Jose Angel. Jose Angel. Present. Okay, Jose Angel. I want you to help me to answer the question uh, number one. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la oración uno? How this will be? Okay, Jose. Uh, or do you need help? Necesita ayuda, Jose Ángel? Claro, teacher. Necesita ayuda. Sí, claro. Te, no sé si es he have o. Oh. Okay, alguien que ayude a Jose, a volunteer to help Jose. Me, teacher. 
Carlos. Carlos. Sí. Ok, Carlos. He How does. Do... Pero sería, completo. ¿Cómo why... sería? Ok, sería. Why does he have a meaning? What does he has o has? Ajá. Why does. Why does. Ajá. He have. Ah, ok. Excelente. A meaning. Excellent. Okay. That's right. This is actually simple because we're talking about the third person. Y lo único que cambia en este caso es el does, right? Why does he have a meeting? Okay, Carlos, say the number from 1 to 20. Excuse me? Uh, say the number from 1 to 20. Mm, no lo entiendo, soy sincero ahí. Eh, un número del 1 al 20. Ok. Eh, 11. <ríe> Sorry, teacher. No, está bueno. Eh, muy bien, bien. Okay, eh, uh, otro número. Another number. Another eh, number. Four. Four. Eh, ever. Ok, ever. Eh, how this would be the number two, eh, ever? The number two, let me see. She. Where, where does she process the payment? Where does she process the payment? Okay. Yes, uh, plural, the payments. Okay, where does she process the payments? And also the question mark. Okay, very good, Ever. That's nice. Okay, Ever, say the number from 1 to 20. 1 to 20, 17. Okay, the big, the highest. Uh, Saul, Adolfo. Saul. Okay. Okay, so uh, the number three. Bueno, aquí ni num ni numerados están todo raro se se desconfiguró, pero usted no le da caso. Siga la lógica. <laughs> okay. Uh, what what does on um, when is that Ingrid? What does? Oh, sorry, sorry. What does? I'm going to. Uh, uh, what does? On um, when is that Ingrid? What does Wednesday? Wednesday Ingrid. What does Wednesday Ingrid? Sería, um, what does on Wednesday Ingrid? Do. Do. No, habría que reestructurarla. Eh, ok. Creo. Ajá. Creo que sería, what does, what does Ingrid do on Wednesday? What does Ingrid do on Wednesday? Creo, pero no sé si es. What does Ingrid do on Wednesday? No sé, ¿qué dicen los demás? What do you think, guys? In plural. Wednesdays, Wednesdays. Ah, ok, ok, ya, yeah, plural. It's, plural. It's, cor it's correct or not. ¿Es correcto o no, chicos? ¿Qué dicen ustedes? Right, correct. That's correct. Yes, that's correct. Definitely, that is the answer, right? Very good, very good. So we just like have this. Okay. So what does Ingrid do on Wednesdays? And, yeah, the last one. Vamos con la última. Eh, a ver, a ver, a ver. A ver, Ever, eh, select, oh, Saúl, 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 eh, say the number, Saúl, Saúl. Uh, um, uh, 20? 20, 20, uh, 20, let me see, who's 20? Uh, well, choose another number. Uh, 10. 10. 10. 
eh, Karina, Karina Jamilet. Ok, Karina. Sorry. No, al contrario, está contenta que usted la haya elegido. Ok, okay Karina. Ay, no. ¿Cómo sería la última? No la veo. Eh, when employee acquire the raw material. And when do and when do project de aquí no sé qué cómo se pronuncia la a, a acquire. Aquí, no sé acquire acquire the raw material Mm -hmm. We do I part. <laughs> eh, a, tiene que ser das porque a employee es singular, empleado. Si fuera plural sería employees. Entonces sería uh -huh. when does. Ok. Continue, Karim. Employee. Diga conmigo em employee. Employee. Ajá. Uh -huh. Um, es que se me, me cuesta pronunciar esa palabra aquí, la que me estaba comentando. Acquire. Acquire. Acquire el day rank material. Material. Oh, material. Material. Ok, when does the employee acquire the raw material? Ok, repítelo, repítelo. When do? When does? When tax employer acquire? Acquire? Acquire the right um, material. 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 When does employee acquire the raw material? Ah, okay. All right. Ok, guys, eh, do you have the same information? Eh, ¿Los escribieron igual? ¿Escribieron igual las preguntas? ¿O diferentes? Dos buenas y dos malas salieron. Dos con la última. La última me salió mala. Mm, bueno, sí, quizá, sure. bueno, ni modo, pero bueno, lo importante es que lo hicimos. Digamos que fue error de internet. <risa> ok. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? Díganos. En la última yo le puse when does the employee. No se puede. Mm, when does employee acquire the raw material. Podemos agregarle el de eh, como... Ajá. Podemos agregarle when does the employee. Cuando usamos ah. el artículo definido de, este nos indica que sabemos qué empleado es. Pero como en este caso eh, el empleado, según la oración, es como desconocido. Yo digo, ¿y uh -huh. cuándo el empleado recibe los materiales de primera clase? Uh, ok. Ese, ese D se le llama artículo definido porque ya sé yo a quién me refiero. Por ejemplo, si yo digo la escuela, yo digo the school. Yes. Pero yo sé qué escuela es. Pero si yo no sé qué escuela es, yo solo digo school o a school. Usando okay, un artículo okay. indefinido. Yes. Muy bien, vamos con la siguiente por, por because of the time. Look at this. Open questions. Choose the correct alternatives. Tenemos open questions like what, when, where, why, who, and how. Entonces, ustedes van a uh, to check this. Look at this. Y vamos a completar eh, la siguiente información. So I need to, to move this. One second. Mm -hmm. Like this. Ok. Vamos a utilizar los WH questions para poder completar este ejercicio. The following exercise. So you have a couple of minutes to uh, socialize. 
Okay. Take some time for this. Take some time to answer, and then we're going to socialize this information. Ready, teacher. Okay, perfect. So we go with this ready. Okay, we go with this part. Okay, and I, we're going to be asking some of the students that who haven't practiced here in this conversation. And okay, what is the first question? What is the first one? Where? 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 Where are my keys? Using, using your imagination, imagine that somebody asks you, where are your keys? Where are my keys? What would be the answer? How would you answer this question? Using your imagination. Ustedes van a usar su imaginación como que eh, eh, supieran dónde está. Por ejemplo, where are my keys? In the desk. There are... Um... My okay, they are in the desk. Okay. Could be a choice, right? And this is a possible a possible answer. Where are my keys? Donde están mis llaves? Ah, están en el escritorio. Okay. What is the what is the number two? What? 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 Okay. What is the problem? Como dicen, hey, what's the problem, man? No, that's, that's informal. <laughs> okay, what's the problem? What's the problem? Eh, uh -huh. Si alguien le dice, hey, what's the problem? ¿Qué le diría usted? My problem <laughs> is... I am the problem. I, see, I am the problem. <laughs> My problem. Mi problema es el sueño. Es correcto, eh? me la ganó, compañero. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Cuál sería el problema? What's the problem? Ya lo dijo la Pero, compañera. ¿eh? Una pregunta. El, el problema es, es que es conmigo, dice. Ah, vaya, el problema es que es conmigo. Ah, vaya. El, el problema es Arjona y eso. El problema es el problema. <risa> ok, ok. So, I'm sleepy, decía por ahí. Teacher, I'm, what's the problem, teacher? I am sleepy. Ok, teacher, number two. Yes. Porque es what ahí. What is the problem? ¿Cuál es el problema? ¿Cuál? What? Puede ser cuál o cómo. 
¿Cuál es el problema? Eh, what, sí. what es qué? Okay. Ajá, no pero entiendo. también se puede usar como cuál. Ajá. Ok, entonces no usamos we, we, which. Why. Acuérdese que eh, which, eh, bueno, no está aquí. No está which aquí. Ajá. Pero el which lo ocupamos para comparar dos cosas. Eh, para o una cosa o la otra. Por ejemplo, which book do you prefer? ¿Cuál libro tú prefieres? Pero ya se sabe que hay más de una opción. Es decir, hay dos opciones. Entonces, cuando yo digo, what's the problem? Este no va a significar que cuál de todos, sino que es en general. What, what is the problem? ¿Cuál es el problema? Es como cuando usted dice, ¿cuál es tu nombre? What is your name? Usted ocupa what. Lo va a significar That's como cuál. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Eh, number three. It's your who, favorite singer. Who is your what? favorite singer? Ah, who, who, yes. Y si ustedes se fijan, if you can see here in the statement, eh, hay alguna curiosidad. Se fijan que favorito se escribe, le escriben una U. Sí. Miren qué interesante. ¿Por qué? Why, teacher? Because this is a British word. What's your favorite singer? Who's a British English? Oh, who is your favorite singer? Who's British English, right? Oh, who is your teacher? Oh, my teacher is the teacher's William. It's like British English. Okay, who's your favorite singer? Who wants to answer? Who wants to answer? Who wants to answer? Who's your favorite singer? Freddie Mercury. Bon Jovi. Ah, Bon Jovi, Freddie Mercury. Who else? Bruno Mars. Ah, Bruno Mars. Okay, somebody else? Mark Anton. Mark Anthony. Ok. ¿Quién da más? <laughs> ¿Quién? No, sería el King Flick. Man. King Flick. Sí, sí, sí. Coco. Y si dice. Y si, ah, ok. Cocolito. No, different music. Ok, that's ok. All right, that's good, that's good. Number four. Eh, what is the number four? When. 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 Ah. When. Ok. Ok. Eh, What is the possible answer? My birthday is in April. It's it's on April, April what? Uh, two, four, fifth, six. Twenty-five. Uh, twenty-fifth. It's on April twenty-fifth, right? Ustedes digan los nombres. Tal vez algún regalo de algún compañero ahí. Pues sí, diga. Teacher, yo la otra semana, compadre. Ah, ok, it's on April 25th, right? Y hasta para, decir, hasta para decir la fecha es importante. It's on. Usamos on. Porque nos menciona un número. Que es 25. Pero si yo quiero decir solo el mes, yo voy a decir. It's in April. Y ya no voy a utilizar el on, sino que voy a usar el in. Porque ocupamos in para los meses. In April, in June, in August, in November, in October, in March. Pero cuando este va acompañado de un número, entonces cambia a on. Después ustedes ya van a estar dando clases de esto. Van a decir, no, esto es fácil. Van a decir, se acordarán. Ok, number five. Who? Oh. How. 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 Yes. How old are you? How old are you? Yeah. Ok. Number six. What? What? What is? What is what your? Is, yeah. What is your telephone number? Telephone number. Telephone number. Lo en British. Telephone number. Lo británico dice number. What is your telephone number? British. We say number. Number yeah. seven. Where? 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 Okay. Where are you from? I'm from San Salvador. 
I am from El Salvador. Who is your best friend? Okay. Oh, who is your best? Who is your best friend? Number nine. What? What is your email? What is your email address? And the, so I forget to highlight them. How? Yes, we have who, and we're what using them. How are you? What? How? How, how are you? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm oh, fine, thanks. And you? <laughs> y fíjense que casi, casi la, la, cuando usted le pregunta a alguien, dice, how are you? Es, es bien raro que alguien le diga, I'm fine, thanks. Lo que sucede es de que muchas veces en los libros, eh, en los primeros libros, la gente siempre ponía fine, ¿se acuerdan? Hoy usted pregunta, hey, how are you? I'm pretty good. I'm okay. I'm, I'm glad. Nice. So, so. I'm getting, getting great. A little boring. A little boring. A little tired. Sure. E ese sí. fine es, ya, ya no se ocupa ya eso. Yes. Teacher, the, the question is different the the question, how old are you? Uh-huh. It's different. Yes. Okay. Because, because you are asking about the age. Acuérdense que old es para, para referirnos a los años. ¿Cuántos años okay. tienes? How old are you? Esa es la traducción que le damos nosotros. ¿Cuántos años tienes? Thanks. Yes, how old are you and how are you? Y hay personas que se confunden. De repente usted le dice, hey, how old are you? I'm fine, thanks. No, how old are you? Ah, ok, I'm, I'm like this. Entonces hay que tener bastante listening porque la gente cuando lo pronuncia pueda confundir how old are you con how are you. Yes, so it's like a difference. Ok, any question? No question, teacher. Okay, so today we have um, one second because I want you to to do something right now. Um, just one moment. Uh, well, so we have a. Tenemos hoy la sesión de los minutos. I just I want to confirm uh, who is the person is going to be. Y vamos a pasar la asistencia en este momento. Meanwhile, I'm look for the names here. The last one, and um, ah. Uh, Adela Trinidad. Present. Eh, Carlos Eduardo Melgar. Present. Eric. Present. Eh, Ever de Jesús. Present. Guillermar Cruz. Present. Ina Crisia Santos. Present. José Ángel Guardado. Present. José David Rivera. Eh, Karen Lisset. Present. Karina Yamile de Espinosa. Present. Eh, Catherine Abigail Cuella. Marlin Yamilet Herrera. Misael Rivera Aquino. Present teacher. Eh, Nancy Lisset Rodríguez. Present. Oscar Manuel Sánchez. Present. Salvador Alfonso Cortés. Present teacher. Saúl Adolfo Beltrán. Present teacher. Victoria María Vázquez. Present. Yancy eh, Guadalupe Erazo. Present. Yancy Magdalena. Bueno, eh, hoy tenemos, quiero ver, hoy día miércoles. Tenemos a Marlin Yamilet, pero no está, ¿verdad? Entonces, no sé si alguien pues tiene la disposición, puede pasar este día o si no, pues el día que le corresponde. It's not a problem. Ok, if not, we can continue with this. Ok, guys, do you have any questions about the, about the topic, about the information? Eh, Alguna consulta que ustedes tengan? Just to finish the, the part of the class? Teacher, yo solo yes. tengo una duda. Yes. So, so significa.
a término medio. Eh, ¿Qué palabra es, perdón? So-so. So-so. Uh, es una palabra que lo ocupan para decir como decir más o menos, ajá, como que... Más o menos. Ajá, término medio, so-so, o como decir en español formal, regular. It's like so-so, como regular, ajá. This ¿Cómo is... se escribe ahí? So, eh, así como ese... Ah, ese. sí, so-so. Ajá. Like the chat, look at the chat, so-so, something like that. Okay, guys. Eh, thank you so much, guys, for the opportunity to be here in the class. Thank you for the commitment. No se les olvide, por favor, completar los ejercicios que les corresponden eh, cada día de la semana, la tarea de esta semana, de este día. Son ejercicios bien prácticos y los puede hacer para que no se vaya atrasando eh, y al final, pues, eh, les haga falta y les estén escribiendo. So, I don't like that. So, thank you, guys, for being here in the class. See you eh, in the next class. Thanks, Good night. teacher. Good night. You too. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Have a good time. It's a pleasure. Good night. Good night. Good night. You too. Okay, this time uh, there are no students because the, the two students that were on the list from yesterday and today, uh, they couldn't attend classes. Um, I don't know the reasons, but that's why in this case, we're going to have a backup for some students that they would like to reinforce about the use of DAS, that is the topic. And for this, I'm going to share right now the information that I have here. And just, uh, just give me one second, right? As we said, uh, we're talking about the use of uh, do and does, that was the topic. And as we know, we use the, the does for third person, singular. And what are the third persons? We're talking about he, she, and it. Look at this. We have he, we have she, and it, right? Tenemos uh, estos tres. We have the three ones that are called the third persons in English the third persons, son conocidas como las terceras personas, he, she, and it in the third persons. Cuando queremos hacer preguntas utilizando eh, el presente simple, we are using, in this case, eh, does, right? We're going to use does for these structures. Por eso, eh, para formar una pregunta decimos, what does she do on Saturday and Sunday? So that means that we use does because the, the next person or subject or pronoun is she and exactly she. That's why we say, what does she do on Saturday and Sunday? And the answer is that she visits other companies and has meetings. So, and the answer is going to be visits because it's a third person, we add an S according to the English rules. Igual con las preguntas, where does he go on Tuesday afternoon? En este caso usamos does porque es exclusivamente el pronombre he. Podría ser un nombre en singular como Juan, Antonio, Carlos, William, Thomas, Damon, Raymond, etc. Y la respuesta siempre tiene que comenzar con el sujeto. Vemos ahí y el verbo que en este caso es en tercera persona que es goes. Which department does or bus supervise? Entonces eh, vemos cómo estas estructuras eh, son bastante utilizadas en inglés. So we use them a lot. We use these structures in English. Y vemos cómo acá eh, formulamos este tipo de preguntas. Eh, tenemos acá algunas preguntas que estas van encaminadas a primera, segunda persona, segunda persona y los plurales. Los plurales sabemos de que el verbo eh, en este caso va en su forma normal y usamos el do. Look at this. Este es como un pequeño repaso de la clase anterior. Eh, ¿Por qué usamos do y no das? Porque aquí los pronombres son segunda persona y los plurales. Ellos siempre van a utilizar el do. Like the examples we have here. Look at this. What department do you belong to? Do you travel? Y usamos el do. 
porque es el auxiliar. Eh, do you travel in your job? What do you do? Entonces usamos el do. Look at this. What do you do in your free time? And what do you like about your job? Y vemos que usamos el do. Look at this. Entonces vamos eh, utilizando estas estructuras, eh, usando el do para los, específicamente los plurals, y usamos el das para las terceras personas que we said that was he, she, and it, right? Que eran el, ella y ella. Entonces vemos como la estructura. Eh, en la clase hemos realizado el siguiente ejercicio. In the class we have completed the following exercise that is like with what, when, where, why, how, and who, right? Y decimos choose the correct alternative. What are my keys? Where? En este caso, eh, estamos usando las preguntas, las W equations, eh, para todo tipo de pronombres, especialmente eh, para las primeras personas. Where are my keys? And they are on the desk. What is the problem? I am sleepy. Who is your favorite singer? Who? Quién? When? Cuando? How? Cómo? Eh, parte de la estructura que hemos estudiado. Aunque how no, es, no empieza con una WH equation, pero es considerada una de las W equations porque nos genera una pregunta. Entonces, es importante que nosotros podamos eh, avanzar con esta estructura de los W equations. Entonces, eh, hemos estudiado un poquito acerca del uso del DAS eh, para terceras personas en forma de pregunta y las posibles respuestas a través de la conversation que hemos hecho en esta clase. Así que, ha sido very important because we can practice, we can produce the language is something that we need to, sometimes we read, we write some words, we pronounce vocabulary, but the, the, one of the most important parts is to produce the language, to pronounce, to speak. And that is good because we have like more opportunities to enhance our English skills. And that is uh, fascinating. We definitely learn a lot with English. So I can recommend uh, to practice English every time, all the time, in the best ways we can. Así que that is all for today. Thank you, guys.